it's only ever a small number of people that have really changed things, to be honest, isn't it? There's a saying, who was it said that, that most things are just changed by a small number of active people. And that's kind of true. So, so it's kind of, you know, we're never, it's probably the case that the vast majority of vegans are never going to be active and then they're just going to like kind of be. I think it was Margaret Mead, I think. Yeah. Margaret Mead, that's Margaret mm. Mead. Um, you know, most vegans are just, just going to be like, you know, whooping for joy that there's been a McDonald's bought out a vegan burger and like all, all that kind of stuff. I and mean, then that's the latest controversy in it about the Mac vegan thing. Um, you, you know, but as, as long as we have a substantial number of vegans, we're not going to get everyone. We're not going to even get the majority. But if we, you know, as many as possible that we can get to be active, and and to high have a high level of, of, of action because that's the thing if if we have you know relatively small number of highly committed highly active people can can change things you know that's what we need to need to it's just that we haven't got enough we haven't got enough of those you know highly committed people but you know we've just got to work on on getting them work on encourage encouraging people to kind of take up that role everywhere. And I think that's, uh, and I think that's that that that's the answer. We can't worry too much about you know, you know those vegans that we want as many as possible to come along, but we've got to accept that there are those that kind of won't. And I think it's a shame for them because like this is this is the greatest struggle that's ever been fought against the greatest oppression that's ever existed, isn't it? You know, this is like Armageddon in it or whatever in terms of like totally changing. You know, we have a Nazi species more or less that's kind of jackbooted over the earth. That's the human, of course. Uh, over all the other animals, you know, the world is occupied like by uh, under a tyrannical the, Reich. The human Reich, Reich as you say, the Reich. human Reich, the human Reich. Yeah, and 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 to resist that, to fight that, you know, to defeat that, you know, to to achieve liberation for for all the other beings that have been oppressed by our species. Is it isn't that like you know? a kind of wonderful thing to live your life for that like I, I kind of lived and, 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 and acted for the, for, for the most fundamental and most important revolutionary change that ever came about in the history of, of, of the world and ever will come about in the history of the world isn't that instead of just you know living for nothing and dying for nothing just doing like tiny nonsense do you know what I mean to kind of to fight and to struggle for this such a a, a a massively important cause, isn't that is, is isn't that like a really important thing that people could do? And then when when they die, and they could think, well, yeah, I, at least I, I I kind of you know I did that. I was part of that, and my life was was of value because I did that. And that's what people need to be thinking. You know, you know, be part be be, be part of this. You know, massive massively important change against you know to, to turn around this this unbelievably horrendous oppression that's been going on for for, for so many centuries, centuries.